What's up, YouTube? It's Gunna Sriracha here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. YouTube channel. YouTube channel. So, y'all, I got a little tiny little story time for y'all, okay? So, the story time that I'm gonna tell y'all is about the time that I thought, well, not thought. I felt like I had a stalk, okay? So if y'all wanna know what happened, stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is what had happened. So I remember it was like last year, probably like, um, going to no like in the fall like halloween time like around this time um me and my current best friend we had you know fell off at one point we had a little, like not altercation but we had a little argument that made us fall off that night right so the area that we fell out at it was close to my neighborhood so what i did was there was a walkway so i started walking so mind you in a Texas environment, Texas itself, like in the fall time, it gets dark early. You know I me, mean? fall winter time, it gets dark early. So it was, I was walking, it wasn't even late, late, but it was dark, like pitch black. So I was walking on this long stretch that had sidewalk and just trees coming out here, like a little forest right here. And then there was like a school coming up, but like it was just dark when I was walking. And you know, I wasn't thinking too much of it. I wasn't like scared or nothing because in my mind, I was just upset. Like I was just walking upset. So I was in a vulnerable state as well though. So I was walking home cause I had this chair and I started walking home. So I'm walking home halfway there to my neighborhood itself. And I just felt like something was, I just felt like somebody was like following me. Like I have that feeling, feeling in my chest. And I'm just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So I didn't think too much of it because, you know, I'm from New York and everybody is just weird in New York. So if you have a stock cut, you know, it's like they do, but it's too crowded for them to even do shit anyway. So anyways, nobody didn't really see me walking on the sidewalk because it was dark and the cars are driving. They had bright ass headlights, but I don't think they saw me walking because, you know, I'm a colored girl and we went in a lot in the dark time. So I went back to my neighborhood now and I said, let me take a minute. So I went to the park. So I'm walking, there was a park right here and then there's an area right here to walk. And that's my area right here. Like the back way, I went to the back way basically. So I saw the park and I went to sit down and I sat on the swing first. No, yeah, I sat on the swing first for like two minutes and then I went to the benches. So I was sitting on the benches and I was just texting people, I was just texting and checking my instagram feed and all of a sudden i felt i heard a, the swing moving like swing swing so i'm looking and mind you it's dark all i see is just movement so i see like a man sitting on the swing like swing 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 this shit creeped me out to this day i don't know who the fuck it was because they were swinging they were looking at me i don't know what the facial expression was but it was just a dark figure man and it was swinging on the swing looking at me so I'm just like, because, mm. you know, from where I was sitting at first, it just looked like this, it was like wind swinging, making the, the swing swing. Yo, how many times am I going to say swinging? But now I realize there was an actual man there. So I was trying to think quick. Like, I said, okay, I've never been in this situation before, but let me think real quick. What the fuck should I do? So mind you, I had slides on. So guess what the hell I did, girl? Guess what the hell I did? I took off my slides, right? Got my ass up. And I sprinted. I, bitch, I sprinted. Sprinted like a motherfucker. The Jamaican in me came out and I was just fast for some reason, like sprinted. And I didn't go my way that I was walking to, like the back way. I went all the way around to come back so that they didn't know that where I was living at. You know what I'm saying? I was so fucking creeped out. Listen, never again will I 
sleep, like never again when I walk in the dark, like dark, pitch black by myself in a vulnerable state. Listen, okay? Listen, 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 listen. I'm a colored female. Mind you, I'm Jamaican and monstration, okay? I'm already, you know, <laughs> I get gay type of mindset, right? I'm West Indian, right? And I'm from New York, which is another red flag as well. Like, shit, man. Like, my, my, you know, I already have a type of mentality to where I got to watch my back at all times. But at the, third, at the same time, I'm in the volatile state and I have anxiety. So that was making my heart just... So I didn't want to make the wrong move and then walk back slowly to my house and then they realize where I stay and shit happens. You know what I'm saying? So, because I'm not armed. <laughs> and I was by myself at that moment because I was on my own and I ditched my best friend. So I was literally and by myself. Yo, what? I ran the fuck home all the way around to my house. And I just had to sit in my room and think. Okay? I was telling my best friend that. But at the same time, I was still cussing my ass out that day because we had to argument. But I then told her, like, yo, you know, shit, that, this what happened, blah, blah, blah. She was like, even though she's upset, she still has a mindset. She, I mean, she still has an idea of what happened, you know, for safety reasons. Because me and her, we will get into it as many times as we please. But we, we both know what the hell we got going on. We both know that at the end of the day, we always come back together because it's like a bond. It's like... It's something, a spark that when we first met, it was a little spark we had, you know what I mean? So that spark can't be replaced or neglected. So that's really it. Um, hello, you know, Sriracha, scary story time. It's a tiny, tiny little bit of story time, okay? Oh my God, God forbid, if I were to walk my way to back to my house, the back way, the same way I wanted to walk to, and the guy saw how where I was walking and followed me. I could have been raped, killed. You never know. Because I didn't know. I didn't know nobody still. Like, she was the only person I knew. So, I didn't know if it could have been a crazy ex. Like, because I have an ex that lives in my neighborhood. But it's like, bitch, you don't, you don't know when I was out. He didn't know I was out. So, unless he would have studied where I was going or studied my face. Or, I mean, studied where I was at, whatever. Like, through his window or something. Because, well, I mean, it's pitch black, but there's headlights at the park. Everywhere else is dark as shit. So, it's country dark. But yeah, that's the end of this story time. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. And always remember to stay spicy, because if you don't stay spicy, then nobody's going to want to taste you, bitch. Bye, y'all.